If you're a Salesforce professional who has ever worked with a variety of systems integrated with your Salesforce instance through an integration user, this is likely the feature you've been waiting for. A dedicated user license is finally available for integration. Earlier in 2023, Salesforce announced a new type of license you'll be able to assign to users, the Salesforce Integration User License. This is an important announcement that can ultimately save your company money. Let's have a look at more detail. As you know, each Salesforce user needs to have one license assigned which ensures access to the functionality they need to use within Salesforce. For example, a user with a normal core Salesforce license has full access to CRM functionality and apps, while someone with the Salesforce platform license has their access limited to custom apps. You can view all the available licenses in your org, including this new one, by navigating to the company information page in Setup. It's a good idea to refresh your memory with the standard user licenses and all other user license types when deciding which is the best option for a given scenario. The new Salesforce integration license has been available since March 14th, 2023, and is specifically designed for system-to-system -system integrations, as it only provides the user with API access. Simply put, your instance's functionality or data cannot be accessed through the user interface by users who assign this license type. This means that it's time to reevaluate the existing integrations for users in your Salesforce org and properly migrate them to an API-only access license. This will free up one of the other licenses for an actual human user who can make better use of it. The Salesforce Integration API permission set, which includes many of the permissions granted to Salesforce admins, should be used to extend and restrict user or object permissions, alongside other relevant permission sets to ensure access to uniquely tailored subset of data, thus reducing risks of a potential data leak. So why is this so important? It's no surprise that the biggest advantage for all organizations will be the associated cost, or at least to begin with the fact that there isn't one. There'll be five Salesforce integration user licenses readily available per org in the performance, enterprise, and unlimited editions. Additionally, there's also one included for every developer edition org. After these first five licenses are consumed, the extra ones will only cost $10 per user per month, making it quite a bargain, especially considering that until now, you're most likely using a full Salesforce license, which is way more costly. Of course, in addition to the monetary aspect, there is also the important question of security and traceability. The best practice is to have one user per integration to properly track and identify the transactions at every integration point and maintain granular control over access. With the new license type and reduced cost, there shouldn't ideally be any reason to reuse the same user for multiple integrations. All in all, the Salesforce integration user license is bound to make your life as a Salesforce admin easier. You can expect more security and granularity in terms of controlling integration access at a much lower cost.